Some of your RV's major appliances require 110-120 volt AC shore power, including TVs, microwave, and air conditioning, just to name a few. If things go wrong in your RV, your RV's AC shore power system is often a good starting point when troubleshooting. The main areas to check when troubleshooting your RV's AC shore power system are proper usage, source issues, and breaker issues. Understanding the amperage available and how it is used in your RV is key to utilizing your RV's AC shore power system effectively. Most RVs have either a 30 or 50 amp system. The amount of amperage going into your RV determines how many appliances you can run at once. For example, say these 30 lightning bolts each represent one amp available for your RV to use on a 30 amp source. On average, you will need to take away 7 bolts for the power converter to charge your batteries, 15 bolts for your AC, and 3 bolts for your refrigerator. You have 5 bolts left for the rest of your electric appliances. So let's say a microwave may require 16 amps and a hairdryer may require 9 amps. This means you may not be able to run these types of high amperage drawing appliances while running your AC on 30 amp service without reducing amp draw from other appliances. Your RV owner's manual should have a guide for the amp draws from each appliance equipped in your RV. Now that you understand how your RV uses its power, it's time to hook your RV up to an AC shore power source. When you go to hook up your RV to your 110-120 volt source, you want to inspect both your plug and the source for any damage, dirt, or corrosion, and turn the source breaker off before you plug your RV in. Be sure to turn the breaker back on before you use your RV. It's a good idea to test the source for polarity and proper grounding before usage. Not every campsite is going to have the outlet that fits your RV's plug. Luckily, there are a wide array of plug adapters to help you power your RV. Keep in mind, if you are adapting your plug down from 50 to 30 amps, you will need to limit your power consumption to accommodate the lower amperage. The biggest source of damage to your AC shore power system is improper voltage. Some campsites may have old or improperly wired 110-120 volt sources. These sources can provide a variable current that can fall outside the safe voltage zone of 105 to 126 volts and cause damage to your RV. The best way to prevent damage is to have a surge protector that tests for polarity and protects against improper voltage going to your RV. These surge protectors will open the connection to the RV if the voltage drops below or spikes above the proper range to protect your appliances from damage. You also want to be cautious when using extension cords because they can lower the voltage going into your RV. If you absolutely need to use an extension cord, it needs to be a 10 gauge cord and as short as possible. If you're having issues with your RV's power systems and have a proper connection to your source, you should check the breakers in both the fuse breaker box and GFCI outlets. The breakers in the fuse breaker box generally have labels indicating what function they correspond to. If a breaker is tripped, eliminate any excessive amperage draws and reset the breaker. If the problem is on a GFCI outlet, find the GFCI breaker outlet, usually located in the kitchen, bathroom, or outside, and reset it by pressing the reset button in. If you find that you have to reset the breakers or GFCI outlets multiple times, you may have to do further troubleshooting or even bring your RV in for service. In summation, knowing how to properly operate and maintain your RV will help you avoid frustrations on the road so you can enjoy camping. Thank you for watching.